Hi, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, we are going to learn Class 12 Mathematics Chapter 3 Matrices in that properties of transpose of the matrices. In the last video, we have discussed what is a transpose matrix or how to find a transpose of a matrix. With respect to transpose of a matrix, we can have these four properties A dash dash is equal to A. That means A double dash is equal to A. K A whole dash is equal to K A dash. A plus B whole dash is equal to A dash plus B dash. A B whole dash is equal to B dash A dash. Here dash is nothing but the transpose. So A transpose transpose is equal to A. K A whole transpose is equal to K A transpose. A plus B whole transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. A B whole transpose is equal to B transpose into A transpose. Now let us see these properties by taking some example. See here I have taken A and B matrix with order 2 cross 3. Now first here we will verify the first property that is A transpose transpose is equal to A or A double dash is equal to A. Here if we find the transpose of A dash then we should get the original matrix. Let us see that. See here I have taken a matrix A with these elements. First let us find the transpose of this matrix. See, whenever we are finding the transpose of any matrix, we have to interchange the rows with column or columns with row. See here, I am taking now each column and that I am writing as each row. So, 3, 4, first column, so that I am writing as first row. Then, second column, square root of 3, 2, this I am writing as second row. Then, third column, I am writing as third column, 2, 0. So here we have three rows and two columns. Now this matrix forms the transpose of the A matrix. So we got the transpose of the A matrix. But in the property we have A transpose transpose. That means we need to find the transpose of this now. Now this is our matrix. For this matrix we need to find the transpose. So A transpose transpose or A double dash. So you need to find the transpose of this. So when we find the transpose of this, see here, I am taking each column that I am writing as each row. So here first we have 3 square root of 3, 2. First column I am writing as first row. So 3 square root of 3, 2. Then second column I am writing as second row 4, 2, 0. So now we got here 2 rows and 3 columns. If you compare this with the A matrix, both are similar. And also we have here order 2 cross 3. That means from this example we can say A double dash is equal to A or A transpose of transpose is equal to A. Next we have the second property K A whole transpose is equal to K A transpose. Here K is a constant, any number value you can take here. So in this case, see, I am taking first here, K whole transpose we need to find out. So for that, first let us find the value of K A. So K A, now A is a matrix which has element 3, square root of 3, 2, 4, 2, 0. Let us write that, then this K we have, this K act as a scalar. Whenever we perform the multiplication of scalar with the matrix, we need to multiply scalar with all the elements of the matrix. So here we get, now you need to multiply this k with all the elements. So we get 3k, square root of 3k, 2k, 4k, 2k, 0. Next here, we got the k value. Next we need to find the transpose of this. k transpose we need to find. So k transpose means here, replace each replace rows with column or columns with row so i'm taking here each column and that i'm writing as each row see 3k 4k first column as first row then second column as second row then third column as third row so here we got a matrix which has order 
3 cross 2 and this is Ka transpose. Then next in the property we have Ka transpose. So first let us find out here A transpose. See A transpose already we know here. So to this we have to multiply k. So a transpose is 3, 4, square root of 3, 2, 2, 0. This is a transpose. To this we have to multiply the constant k which act as a scalar. So multiply this to all the element. So here we get 3k, 4k, square root of 3k, 2k, 2k, 0. Now you compare this with this. Both are equal. That means from this example we can say K A whole transpose is equal to K into A transpose. Next here we have third property A plus B whole transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. So here I have taken A and B matrices. So first here let us find out A transpose and B transpose. A transpose to this, to find A transpose, we need to interchange rows with column or columns with row. I am taking here each column and that I am writing as row. So we get 3, 4, 3, 4. Second column as second row, square root of 3, 2. Then third column as third row, 2, 0. This is A transpose. Then we need to find B transpose. So take each, you can take either row or column, that doesn't make any difference. See now I am taking here row. If you are taking row, that you have to write as column. So first row, this you need to write as first column. Then second row, this you need to write as second column. So we have B transpose. Next here let us find out the value A transpose plus B transpose. So we have A transpose plus B transpose. Here the matrix addition we have to do. So corresponding elements you need to add 3 plus 2, 4 plus 1, square root of 3 minus 1, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2, 0 plus 4. Here we get 5, 5, square root of 3 minus 1, 4, 4, 4. Next let us take the left hand side where here we have A plus B whole transpose. So to find this first we need to find out A plus B. So let us take A and B matrix. So here we have A plus B. So add the corresponding entries 3 plus 2 square root of 3 minus 1 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 2 plus 2 0 plus 4. So here we get A plus B 5 square root of 3 minus 1 4, 5, 4, 4. Now find the transpose of this. You interchange rows with col column or column with row. See I will take here row. Each row I am replacing. Uh, each row I am uh, changing with column. So here we have first row that I am writing as first column. Then we have second row that I am writing as second column. So here we get A plus B whole transpose. Now you compare this value and A transpose plus B transpose. See both are similar that means here we can say the third property is true. A plus B whole transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. Next here we have fourth property A into B transpose is equal to B transpose into A transpose. Here I have taken a two matrices A is equal to minus 2, 4, 5 which is a 3 cross 1 matrix and B as 1, 3, minus 6 which is a 1 cross 3 matrix. Now here to check this property first we need to find out here A into B. We need to perform here matrix multiplication. While performing the matrix multiplication, there is a rule. The rule is that the number of column of the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Here you can see that these values are equal. That means we can find now AB. So first row, you need to multiply with first column. So corresponding values you need to multiply. See here we have minus 2 and here we have 1. So minus 2 into 1, then minus 2 into 3, then minus 2 into minus 6. Then here we have take the second row element, multiply that with each column value. 4 into 1, then 4 into 3, then 4 into minus 6. Take the third row element, 5, multiply that with each column. 5 into 1, 5 into 3. 5 into minus 6. So here we get minus 2, minus 6, 12, 
फोर ट्वेल्व माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर फाइव फिफ्टीन माइनस थर्टी सी इन दिस केस वी आर नॉट परफॉर्मिंग एडिशन जनरली वेन वी टेक द मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी मल्टीप्लाई द करस्पॉन्डिंग एंट्रीज एंड देन एड दैट इज बिकॉज हियर इन दिस केस इन द सेकेंड मैट्रिक्स वी हैव जस्ट वन रो we don't have here in the in each column we have only one entry suppose if you have some other value here like this way in that case here you may get one more uh, value plus uh, something uh, in this case we don't have that so that's why here just one multiplication is needed so this is ab next you find the transpose of this so transpose of this means interchange rows with column or column with row i'm taking now here each column that i'm writing as each row so minus 2 4 5 first column with first row then second column as second row then third column as third row so we got here a b transpose next here we need to find out b transpose into a transpose so to find this we need to find first b transpose See if I take this B transpose for this is one three minus six. Similarly, the A transpose for this is minus two four five. This column I I need to write as row, and this row I need to write as column to find the transpose. So now let us find out B transpose into A transpose. So this is B transpose and this is A transpose. So you need to multiply. See again here in the second matrix we have in each column only one entry. So that's why direct multiplication you have to do here. There is no addition again further. So one into first row into first row you need to multiply with all the columns. So one into minus two, then one into four, one into five. Then take the second row element, multiply with all the columns. Three into minus two, three into four, three into five. Then take the third row element and multiply with all the columns. Minus six into minus two, minus six into four, minus six into five. So here we get minus two, four, five. Three into minus two is minus six. Three into four, twelve. Three into five, fifteen. Minus six into minus two, twelve. Minus six into four, minus twenty-four. Minus six into five, minus thirty. So we got this, which is B A transpose. A, sorry, B transpose into A transpose. Now you compare this with the value which we have got earlier that is ab whole transpose both the values are same that means we can say here ab whole transpose is equal to b transpose into a transpose this is about the properties of transpose of the matrices if you like this video please like and subscribe also click the bell icon to get regular notification thanks for watching